Hello everybody and welcome to the Binding of Isaac episode 11. Today we're going to do a cane run. That's right. Cane. So, cane. Uh, he moves faster than Isaac. He shoots fast. I don't think he shoots faster. He does more damage. Uh, and has one less health. It begins with the luck foot. And a key instead of a bomb. Uh, the luck foot allows makes it so there are no bad pills in the rotation just neutral or good pills and also uh, greatly increases your chance of winning uh, arcade games skull game arcade machine slot machine I should say fortune teller so this is SMB super fans and all stats up and a speed down it's a pretty good item can't complain really want to find a bomb because this room is a huge profit if we can find just one bomb but uh, that may not happen you never know so that uh, SMB super fan very good find love to love to start the game with stats up all stats up except for speed the speed down doesn't bother me too much we're gonna take this speed up all right compensate it and we did get a bomb I don't remember picking a bomb up but we did get one so Maybe I'm just insane. We're gonna spend the first bomb here, because this will get us two bombs and whatever's in that tinted rock, spirit heart. And then we can go in here. Three more bombs. Now it's possible I could have used a bomb trick there to only spend one bomb, but either way it worked out really well. And I'm gonna grab this tinted rock as well. So it looks like we're gonna get uh tempting, but I don't really have a lot of keys right now, so I only have the normal base one. Duke of Flies here, just a normal version. Gonna summon some uh, flies and eternal flies to harass me and defend himself. Eternal flies are these larger ones that take a couple more hits to kill. Well, actually, they only take two hits now, thanks to that damage up we got. So, just to clarify Kane's damage up, he actually has 20% more damage than Isaac does. Um, and just for clear reference here, uh, Judas has 35% more damage than Isaac does. And uh, I believe Blue Baby has 5% more. It's, it's fairly small increase, but it is an increase, so you know. And Eve has 75% uh, of the damage he does. Like, down. Not, not positive there. So, Wire Coat Hanger. Tears up. Very nice. Obviously, we don't have a D6, so we're just going to take it. And I would probably take it anyways, because Wire Coat Hanger is a pretty good item. Fire. I can shoot all this to try and get some money. As you can see, our tears rate's pretty good now. Money! Another tented rock. Game's being very generous with uh, lots of tented rocks. And I can get this one for free. Thanks to that TNT. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, key. Very welcome. Spirit Heart. I'm gonna go in here because we're getting a lot of Spirit Hearts. Spirit Heart. Alright. So, uh, net profit of nothing. This room should not be a huge issue. Oh, the other thing is Kane has uh, less range than Isaac, so. A couple of range ups would be very helpful. I believe the SMB Superfan gives us a small range up, but not enough to put us back into normal range, so it's definitely something we want to get, because having below average range is actually a fairly substantial disadvantage. Can one shot the spawn spiders. Enemies that get spawned have slightly less health than uh, their normal versions. That's why I can one shot those spiders, not the, uh, the standard spiders. So, shop in the item room right here. Again, no D6, so no charges wasted by finding it late. Uh, shop may be viable, depends if we can earn some money. Blinking shears, pinking shears. Uh, gives us flight for a room and summons a uh, kind of and something similar to a level 4 Meat Boy. Runs around the room for a little while, does good damage. I actually think he does more damage than level 4 Meat Boy does. But uh, I don't know that for certain, so. 
And again, it does give you flight, so you can possibly acquire some consumables that way. But for now, we're probably going to save him for the uh, the boss fight. And I would love to go to the secret room again, because we do have a spare key here. And I would really like to go to the shop, if at all possible. Going to the shop on these earlier floors is not always easy, but it's generally worth it because the uh, greed can't be in the first three shops. So he, he doesn't show up in shops until the caves or catacombs part two. So if you can get enough money going on, which isn't always easy, but if you can, it's generally well worth it. We should have enough bombs to make finding him very possible. Or finding the uh, the secret very possible. I think it may be right here. And if it's not, I'm not really sure where it is. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember if I checked right here. I did not. This is the last really good spot in my opinion. Okay. Unfortunately, we spent like four bombs on that and only got three cents. So that's kind of a bummer. We could take a risk and go to the shop. And it's something I would do if I had a lot of keys or a golden key, but um, I would say the chance of the item being on sale is low enough that I don't want to risk my only key on it. So I'm going to use the pinging shears here. It's going to give me some flight. And that guy does quite a bit of damage, as you can tell. My body, I should say. Yeah, so he just wrecked the Widow. Barely had to hit it at all. Magic 8 ball, gonna pass on that for now. And in here we have Book of Lyle. It gives us plus two damage every three rooms in the pact. It gives us a bunch of stuff. Two spirit hearts. We could just drop down to all spirit hearts right now, but it's a little bit risky. I mean it's extremely risky, I should say, because it's like we have no regeneration. Um if we had the relic or something to that effect, the miter maybe. I would probably just take both of these, but I don't, so I think I'm just going to pass on them. That does mean we can now get a deal with the angel, which is cool. Uh, and I didn't want to take Magic 8 Ball because despite what it says when you pick it up, it's actually just a shot speed up, and as per usual, I don't really care for shot speed ups. <clears throat> So one thing I wanted to talk about this video is I'm, I'm not really happy with how episode 10 turned out. Not so much the fact that it was a loss, I don't really mind losing, especially since we had won twice in a row before that, uh, and, and spoilers by the way. But uh, I got kind of a negative attitude towards it, and that's not something I like in retrospect. I, I don't, I mean, I'm going to lose more than I'm going to win, just because I'm not the best player here. I mean, I'm gonna rack up a size of my wins, I, I suspect. But um, at the same time, I'm not gonna win all of them. But there was no need for me to get so negative. And I, I mean, I don't know if it was really noticeable in the video or not, but I definitely did get uh, get a little excessively negative, which is not the type of thing I wanna. Uh, not the type of thing I wanna do in the future. So. I'm not going to. We're going to go into the secret room here. The cursed room showed us where it was, but I didn't want to take the damage to get in. So now the shop is a definite possibility, and again, this is the last floor where greed cannot be in the shop, so what we need is another key so we can go to both the item room and the shop. I would rather go to the item room instead of the shop if I have to make that choice most of the time. So I'm going to need another key to make the shop a possibility. Just waiting on this host to pop up. All right. No key from there, unfortunately. Sister Maggie, uh, I believe, you know, it, it fires in the same vein as something like a little Gish or a Brother Bobby, but I, I suspect that Sister Maggie does slightly more damage than the normal familiar. I don't know that for certain, though. It may just be a purely graphical effect. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad pickup. It's basically a damage up, and we did get a key, so we're definitely going to check out the shop. Which is right here, and we're gonna hit up the item room. I'm not sure, or not the item room, the challenge room, and see if there's anything good in there. We may do it anyways because it's probably not gonna be too hard, um, even if it's not an item, if it's just a consumable, like a chest or something. 
Well, if it's a golden chest, I'm not going to do it because I don't have enough keys. Unfortunately, we got the notched pickaxe in here, which uh not very good. So I'm just going to buy this stuff. And it's tempting to buy the bomb, but I'm going to pass on it, I think. Notch pickaxe would allow us to break one rock every room, basically. It's, uh, I don't think it's as good as the pinging shears. I don't think the pinging shears are fantastic, but they're better than that. Um, I could have used the pinging shears, by the way, to open up that chest, and that was something I probably should have done, but I'm glad I didn't just do it now because Peep is kind of an asshole, so having that little bit of extra damage. See, he's doing a very nice amount of damage here that I am going to have difficulty doing just because it can be hard to get into a good position to fight Peep. So, well, unfortunately, this is one of the problems with um, pet AI, including Dead Bird and Super Meat Boy. Is, oh yeah, I forgot I can fly. I totally hurt myself there because I can fly. What a silly reason to take damage. Okay, made it through that. I did not get a deal of any sorts. That's not hugely surprising. I'm going to take this pill. Pretty fly. Okay, gives us an orbital. And I believe that orbital only does damage to other flies. Hanged man. So we could go pick up that chest, and it may be within our interest to do so. We could get a key. It, well, we have two keys now, so I actually think I'm going to take a gamble here and go pick up this chest. I'm sure there will... Well, yeah. There's a chance it was going to pay out with a key or a bomb or something. I probably should have just taken the key in retrospect, but oh well. Pinky Eye gives us a 10% chance to shoot a poison tier. So now there's a 50% chance that Greed is going to be in the shop. Um, not only that, but we do need three more cents before uh, I will really consider the shop to be a viability. Uh, we are going to check out the challenge room in case it's something interesting. And again, just a chest may be welcome. Hero Font gives us two spirit hearts. And uh, it is just a chest, but I think I'm going to do this. Was it worth it? Probably. If we don't take any damage, it was worth it. Because that does put us right into the shop range, so we can go there. We have enough keys. And I don't mind taking the risk. Um, you know, getting greed isn't the end of the world. But again, if we do take damage here, it's probably not going to have been worth it. The bomb does increase the value factor somewhat. No real reason for me to save this hero font card, but you know. as long as I don't forget to use it, it's probably not the end of the world. So uh, things are looking interesting. I I can't really complain about how this run is going. We don't really have anything game defining though, so you know I always like to get something like that. Could use a little bit more utility uh, in the form of something like a compass or a map. Uh, we could use some survivability, some sustainability, some damage, some range. We're not in a bad position, but I could also use just about anything the game wants to offer me. Got a chest here, so we're getting a nice stockpile of keys. We'll definitely start considering golden chests if we come across them. Things are going pretty well on this floor so far. Yeah, okay, I say that, and then I take a little bit of damage. That is to be expected. But, you know, half a heart of damage on a floor at this stage. Not not so bad. Again, lots of keys. Gonna go in here. It is gonna be greed. That doesn't mean we'll be able to go to the, uh, to the shop on the next floor. Unfortunately, we can't abuse our range here to just stay really far back because we don't have any range. Or we do have a little bit of range, but not enough to do that. Got some more money. And I guess I'm just going to go ahead and fight the boss. I do have my shears ready to go. And I've got this hero font card. Again, no reason not to pop this, but... Like, I mean, it's not a huge deal. As you can see, the, uh... I could just stand up here. Or I could just float right here and let the, uh... The guy run around and kill all these guys, which is... Honestly, not taking very long at all. It's very, very safe. So it's probably not a terrible idea. So if we can avoid taking damage here, we'll have a good chance of getting a deal with the devil, which we totally do. We've got stem cells as well, which is a health up, along with 16% increase in shot speed, but I'm not going to give up a health up for that. We have the option here to take guppy items, which we should do, I think. Well, I'm going to buy this for sure. 
Now it's a question if we want the mark or not. Now the mark is a good item. It's a damage up and, and some other stuff that I don't remember off the top of my head, including Spirit Heart. So we'll be losing effectively six Spirit Hearts here, but we'll get some damage. So is that worth it? Mm, yes. Now, do I want to use... I want to keep Guppy's Paw, I think, because we're probably still going to get a bunch of health ups. And uh, I don't really want to use it right now. So the mark does give us speed, well, some damage, maybe some tears. I'm not sure about that, though. So we... I, I decided to go with that deal because, like I said, we do need pretty much anything the game wants to give us. So... Guppy's Paw, since I haven't used it yet and I don't plan on using it just yet. We'll turn our heart containers, keep that in mind, heart containers, into three spirit hearts, which is pretty awesome. Means we would effectively get six additional soul hearts if I decided to sacrifice them right now. But I don't want to do that just yet. A couple different reasons. I may want to use them in a deal with the devil later. And there's no real advantage to doing it right now. Because you don't need full heart containers to use it. So you can save them, you can save hits of it until you start to get actually kind of low on health, and then you can get rid of your containers. Or again, you can try and save those containers for Deal with the Devil. Um, once we start to get into the uh, the womb areas, and I have the Polaroid, we'll probably start to pop it without too much conditions, because at that point I can start abusing just having Soul Hearts and uh, Polaroid Invincibility, which is awesome. Another pill that I don't think I've seen before. Range up. Very, very welcomed. Only thing that might have been more welcomed at that stage was uh, health up. And unfortunately, our, our curse rooms have not really done us too well. Nothing really notable. Uh, not even pills, I believe. I, I'm not even sure if we got a profitable curse room yet, which is a little strange. Uh, not unheard of, by any means, but... It was an easy enough room. Is it worth a bomb to get in that? Maybe. Um, I mean, we got a nice supply of bombs right now, so I guess I'll do it. And was it worth it? Preemptively, I'm gonna say no, but you know, it wasn't the worst trade either. It could have been something worse, I guess. So the Empress will give us the Horror of Babylon effect for a room, which is pretty cool. The Honk will turn us into Blue Baby when we die. Would love to re-roll that, but you know, don't have a D6. Not a whole lot of reasons not to pick it up, I suppose. We could look for the top seat room. I'm um, just doing a quick examination here. From from what I can see, and I'm not very good at finding the top seat room. From what I can see, though, there's not like a really obvious place where it would be, so I'm probably not going to go for it. I don't usually go for top secret rooms if I can't be relatively confident that I'm going to find them. And we are having a loading screen error here, unfortunately. It happens from time to time. It's just uh, part of the joy of Isaac. And hopefully, or almost assuredly, I suppose, something that will be fixed in the remake, which will be really nice. Honestly, I've said it before, but um, if all the remake did was removed the uh, some of the bugs of the game, gave it a nice artwork uh, redo, basically. I would be very pleased with that, but they're also adding in a whole expansion worth of content and stuff, so it should be a pretty awesome time. Really looking forward to it, in case that part wasn't obvious. And I want to just say, that chest was crazy lucky. I believe we got like 10 cents and a bomb, or two bombs maybe, from just a normal chest. That's ridiculous. But I'm not complaining. You know, it's pretty cool. Um, do you want to check in the challenge room? Never know when it's going to have skeleton key or something like that in there. Pretty rare, but you know, it happens. Hmm, I believe that's Roid Rage. I could be wrong. I don't. I don't really want it. Okay, another Gumpy item. It's another space item. I'm just going to use it once. Um, Gumpy's head. Gives us three blue attack flies every single room, which is pretty cool. Blue attack flies do twice our base damage. Do want to keep Guppy's paw for now, though. If we can get another Guppy item, we will turn into Guppy, which will be awesome if we can make that happen. And again, starting to get pretty tempting to start burning charges on this. 
If I'm immediately in danger of dying, I'm definitely going to pop it without hesitation. So if I enter a room with gurgles or something, or knights, I'm, I'm definitely going to hit a charge here without hesitation. I do want to grab that spirit heart, though. I think it's well worth a bomb at this stage. So, <clears throat> bomb for spirit heart is a good trade in this situation. Things are going okay here. We did just get the depths, so we shouldn't get any of those nasty heart and mask rooms, which are often the bane of my existence, or, or the bane of uh, Isaac's existence, if nothing else. I haven't really found much on this floor yet, though. Unfortunately, Flat Penny, probably better than Pinky Eye. Flat Penny gives us a 50% chance every time we pick up a a penny to get a key. It's pretty cool. And we should pop this because we could die in here. If we don't. That'd be bad. I don't want to die when I have perfectly viable means to survive. Apparently knights only do have a hard damage, so perhaps my concern wasn't worthy, but I believe I, I was under the impression that they did a hard damage, so you know. I'm happy with the decision I made, even though I could have apparently waited a little bit longer. But still. Uh, but it'd be safe than sorry, and I was gonna pop it eventually, so it's not like it's the end of the world. One, the main thing I'm really worried about now is sustainability. I feel like we don't really have much of that, unless we get some more health ups, in which case, you know, we would have a lot of that, but that hasn't happened yet, so. Yeah, definitely need more health ups, or just something that can give us some sustainability along the lines of a relic. Miter. Um, I would say Little Chad or even Charm the Vampire, but I actually think those would be pretty bad for us now because we are trying to go for a Spirit Hearts build, so not super helpful. And in here we find the treasure map for seven cents. Awesome. And we have a lot of money, so I'm just gonna pick this up as well. Death card. Is that better than the Empress? Maybe. It would allow us to kill a really challenging room pretty easily. Death card does a like 60 damage or something. I mean, it's not bad, but uh, it doesn't scale super well. The main thing is it lets you get through a challenging non-boss room very quickly. Uh, usually it just kills everything in the room, which is cool. Safety cap. Nope. Can't really pick it up, so. Monstro 2 here, just a normal version as well. And since I didn't mention it earlier, we actually did get a uh, Forever Alone here. Which does a pretty good amount of damage if you actually use it. As I'm trying to do right now. Though, so partially just because it fits with the tactic. And somehow, I got Monster 2 here out of sync, so we could be in trouble. Yeah, he's not, he's not getting back into the loop, unfortunately. The thing is, you want to try and keep Monster 2 in that laser sync so he doesn't start jumping around and summoning shit because that's when the fight actually gets hard so it did give us a health up which is basically three spirit hearts for our purposes uh, we do want to go find that item room I mean we know exactly where it is and we're obviously going to go to the secret room as well because the treasure map reveals that treasure map shows you the entire map layout but without telling you what rooms there are uh, and it also shows you where the secret room is so it's a pretty good item Obviously some great synergy between uh, the treasure map and the compass because then you pretty much just get a perfect layout. Fortune Teller Machine, as Kane, we get a 100% chance to get something out of it. So I'm going to play this. Okay, Curved Horn is real good. Probably better than Flat Penny at this point. Curved Horn is plus 2 damage um, after any multipliers, I, I think. But it's, it's still really good. It's one of the best trinkets in the game. I'm not sure what did damage to me there. I know what did damage to me that time, but I'm taking a lot of damage in this room, because, which is bizarre. Because I've actually done pretty well on Leaper rooms this run. Except for this room. This room has been a pain. Unusually so. So, hopefully we get something good here. And eh, ten bombs. You know, it's a passive. It's not what we really needed. But it's what we got. I'm, I'm glad it was a passive, but at the same time, I'm, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping for something a little better. 
10 bombs, maybe just a little bit late for it to really shine and make a huge impact. But I could be totally wrong, you know, maybe we're going to need those in the very near future. I mean, it's just a tough call. Well, I did not mean to spend that key. Are given to me made to spend some money on that slot machine, but, uh, you know. And I apologize, they appear to be having some allergies. So, no curses or anything, so that's, that's nice. Another thing the treasure map's really nice for is that it shows you dead ends. Uh, because, like, if you go through a room, and the room next to it isn't a special room, the treasure map will show you that it's a dead end, because that's just what it'll do. 25 cents, again, you know, pretty much in the same vein as that 10 bombs thing. It, it's a good item, or it's, it's an average item, at least I don't want to go too far here. It's an, it's an average item, but it's not what I would have asked for. It's, it's like we're getting these items that are pretty okay to find early on, but finding them now, you know, maybe just a little bit too late. What we are going to be hoping for here is that Greed is in the secret room. Because he's definitely on this floor, or there's definitely a mini boss on this floor, one or the other. Um, but if there's not another mini boss on this floor, then Greed is definitely on this floor, so. We are going to want to try and find him in the secret room so we can go to the shop. Alright, I gotta be careful. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty far away from dying. It doesn't look that way, but you have to keep in mind Gubby's paw, so. That's a big flare. Alright, sorry about the lack of commentary there, I was just trying to focus on those guys. This room's going to be a little bit of a dick. Well, there was no need to take damage at that point, but I did. I don't really like this. Yep, unfortunately no greed here. So our last hope in that regard is that there is another mini boss on this floor. So, let's, let's hope for that. And if there is, we're probably not going to find him because I'm just going to avoid the dead ends that don't lead anywhere. Which, you know, that, that would be where a mini boss is. So we're just going to check the shop and hope for the best. If it is greed, well, that kind of sucks. But another key, pretty welcome. And interesting potential here. Would love to just go ahead and pop Guppy's paw. But I, what I want to do, I want to be a little bit more efficient than that. And I want to check to see if there's an arcade on this floor. So I can actually spend these trying to earn a blood bag or something. Uh, we're definitely going to go there though, because it could give us a health up or something, which would be cool. And we are in the necropolis, so we do get these rooms unfortunately. And as mentioned, these rooms are the bane of my existence, but I am making some strangely uncharacteristic dodges here that are kind of amazing. Uh, I'm not trying to toot my own horn there, I just seem to be getting some pretty lucky dodges. That's a weird trait, by the way, I think. So, just gonna, again, making some interesting dodges. Though not nearly as interesting as the last set of dodges, I think. Alright, made it through there. And this should be the boss room, yeah. Just kinda felt like it would be. And we do have some golden poop here, which gonna probably give us some money. Eve's bird foot. Nope, gives the counterfeit penny. I will explain what both of these do. Eve's bird foot gives us a 20, it's a, trin it's a uh, trinket. Gives us a 5% chance every time we kill an enemy to get a dead bird for one room. I, I just want to let that sink in a little bit. And if you know what dead bird is, you probably will agree that trinket is not really that great. This room is being a little bit of a dick. Yeah, I'm just gonna pop the death card there. And I'm gonna use that once as well. I actually didn't want to use the death card, I kinda misclicked that. Or not click, but you know. Just press, I suppose. And we did find a uh a arcade, which is cool. Please don't hit me again. Okay. So we're gonna check out the arcade. Alright, it's not a fortune teller machine, unfortunately, but we could fix that. I'm gonna go to the shop. It's greed, unfortunately. We should be able to theoretically get to this fight without taking damage. Theoretically. Now we are going to spend some time in that arcade because we have a good amount of money. 
and uh, yeah, that's pretty much the whole reason. So I'm just gonna play these. This guitar would be good. Would love to re-roll this arcade machine into a fortune teller machine, and we can do that if it spits out a black fly, which it totally could. Pretty fly, very well. I love getting pretty fly pills. Super useful. Orbitals are amazing. Extremely easy to underrate them as well, but they are actually a pretty humongous part of your defensive kit. Arguably worth more than a single heart container, but you know, I guess that's hard to prove. So we do have all three of our orbitals filled out now. With what is probably the weakest orbital, but still, I mean, it, all orbitals block shots, so. It's just a matter of what other utility they provide. So we're definitely getting some hearts here. I could go to the boss challenge room right now, which is not a terrible idea. On the off chance it is a health up, I could more efficiently use these hearts. Okay, so we can try and re-roll that into fortune teller machine. Unfortunately, it didn't work. It's not guaranteed to work, so... It definitely does work, though. You just may have to try it a few times. And uh, if you get un unlucky or don't have enough money, it may just not happen. But it definitely can. Pretty sure I have it on camera. And the game doesn't really get regular patches anymore, so... Skatol, extremely welcome. We'll repel fly-type enemies. We're gonna try and re-roll this. Aww. Oh didn't work. We're gonna play some more here. Uh, I just want to keep that clear, but we are gonna go to the boss challenge room because we have just one heart. And uh, so there's a chance we can pick up a health up or something. Uh, belt. Do I want to speed up? Not really. I'm actually pretty happy with the speed we're at, so... Excess speed is not really a, a good thing. Uh, it, I mean, it's not necessarily bad if you can adjust for it, but it's n n certainly not really good either. I mean, it's good if you're at a below average speed, but otherwise it's not a huge boon. Just gonna keep playing this. Giving us a lot of pretty flies. Those don't really stack or anything, so... I would prefer if it gave me those little black flies. And I'm pretty happy to spend all of my money here. Because, well, I mean, I'm not gonna find any more shops. So the best excuse to save it would be for judgment, which is not a bad excuse. But, you know. Again, more pretty fly. That's super useful. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it. Again, really would love to re-roll this into a fortune teller, but that may not be in the cards today. As I said, we have a 100% chance to win the fortune teller as Kane, which makes it extremely useful. Three attempts, still no luck. I don't know what the the odds of a slot machine being a fortune teller is, but I feel like we are getting fairly bad luck here. But, you know, that happens. And we are going to be able to play that uh, blood donation machine quite a few times, even if inefficiently, so. That nickel is definitely going to help. I realize this may not seem super interesting, but we could use a variety of advantages at this point. Unfortunately, way too many pretty fly pills and not enough of anything else. Interesting problem to have. Don't usually mind pretty fly. In fact, I didn't mind it that it gave me that many, but uh, still would have preferred some other stuff. All right, and that is that. Some money, thirty cents, pretty good. Means I can almost certainly earn an item from a judgment if we find one of them, which isn't unlikely by any means. Now, is this worth two keys? Probably. Nope. But uh, you know can't go back or anything. So we don't seem to have a source of teleport so we're just gonna have to kill mom and move on. Unfortunately we don't have mom's purse so would love to keep the curved horn. Arguments we made here to just go do Satan. Definite argument. 
This curved horn is giving us a is not an insubstantial percentage of our damage here, so losing it is gonna be a pain. Though, leaving behind the Polaroid will be a pain as well because we do have the ability to get full permanent Polaroid invincibility. So maybe that argument doesn't hold up as well. Because I probably want that more than I want plus two damage at this point. I mean it's it's a kind of a tough call, but still. Permanent pull permanent polar invincibility is quite good. And also kinda hard to say. Multiple times in a row like that. Probably not gonna die on this fight. I may end up having to pop Gubby's paw, which sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Hopefully I don't take any more damage, because that would be a little silly. Okay, got another health up. And we're just gonna go ahead. Well, we should go ahead and burn it because we want that permanent Polaroid invincibility. And we're going down. Got the Polaroid. Just gonna check up here. It's probably nothing. Yeah, not really anything. Wouldn't mind going into the first room. But we don't have a flying item, so we can't get in there half price. And we don't have a lot of health or regen, so it's probably not worth it. Probably not worth two soul hearts. Chance to get a guppy item. Which would possibly change the game, but not uh, the best chance in the world. On utero, which is theoretically a little bit harder than the womb. I guess it has some Gertie Jr. rooms, which suck. Leeches, champion leech, can give us a consumable of some kind. Okay, well, there's that polar invincibility. As you can see, it lets me get a little bit more aggressive without sacrificing anything defensively, so that's pretty good in that sense. Alright. Apologies if the commentary is a little bit slower right now. I'm trying to focus here so we don't die too soon. And I don't want to die at all, but I would love to get this as far as it can go. And I'm pretty sure it can go to at least Mom's Heart. I feel like that is definitely in the cards. I just have to not screw it up. There's no reason I shouldn't be able to get the mom's heart. Just bad play is pretty much the only valid reason. I can't really even blame the game too much. I feel like this is probably worth it. Got a good amount of bombs stashed up. Devil room. Well, could grab Guppy's tail. Would probably be the death of us. So, it's, I mean, I think I I I want to. But uh, at the same time, this is like I can't, I, I can't, <laughs> or I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll die. So I really, really wanted to, because it would turn us into Guppy, and that would be huge. But we would have zero hearts, and we would probably die. So yeah, still wish we had that Death Card. Kind of used to not. not very hard room. Would have much rather used that on this room, for example. But, Polaroid Invincibility. Pulling us out again. Really shouldn't be taking damage on this room. This room should pretty much be what I hope to find, so taking damage on it is not productive to getting the mom's heart like I want to. Sun card. Well, could be useful. I guess I... Uh, Shit, you know what? I should have grabbed. Uh, I should. I totally should have grabbed the uh, Gubby's tail. I totally forgot we have the Ankh. God, that was silly. Oh well. I, I mean, the Ankh is so very rarely anything I have to plan around. It's so easy to forget about. But there was no reason not to take it in, in retrospect. Oh well. Um, lucky circumstance here is that we get another deal with the devil we don't die judgment you could you could be our hero I'm just gonna play him fuck <laughs> this is demon judgment I can't can't play you demon judgment kill me man I feel silly that would have been so good guppy does a silly amount of damage just an absolute silly amount of damage it basically triples your damage output. Straight up. Because every tier you fire summons a blue fly. Every single one. And so in every blue fly, you know, does twice your damage. So this room scares me. Alright. Well, 
I ran through lasers twice without taking damage. Should have probably died on that room just based on that alone. And yeah, we could die in here, but we do have the Ankh. We'd rather not die in here, but you know, it's a definite possibility. Because if I die in here, I'm going to have to go through the room again. That is going to be the worst part of that. But it would also ruin any chance I have of trying that trick out with uh, the Ankh. So, boss room, I'm going to check this out. Please. Fate. Okay. Is this flying? And an internal heart? It's, it's a pretty good item. Okay, blast this. Okay. I should be able to do this in theory. Maybe very slow. But it's actually going faster than I thought. Attack fly here doing good work. I, I don't want to die, is the thing. Really need that double room. Because it could totally change this run. It really, really could. So if we can just get this attack fly, kill these guys. And I, I know this is like the most boring, cheesiest thing that I'm showing, but you know. I don't wanna die. <laughs> when I feel like we have a real good chance here. And it's it's a little bit hard to escape from this matrix of shots that we have going on right now. I do need to get out of this hole. Because the blasts have it treated, it seems. Okay, gotten one more down, which is nice. So they are slowly making their way back here. Again? I I completely agree. This this is boring as hell, but you know. Just want to make sure we're all clear on that, but at the same time, it really didn't take that long, and it may allow us to totally change this game, or at least give it a, uh, a pretty good fighting chance if, if the game gives me the devil room, which it did. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and I can spend that hard on it. This is amazing. Now we're guppy. Okay, 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 okay. Now I just have to not die like dipshit. Gonna have four spirit hearts, which is not a lot. Not a lot of spirit hearts. It's really not. I cannot state that enough. But we're doing an absurd amount of damage. Absolutely ridiculous. So, that in mind, we have an interesting. Another eternal heart. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, that's pretty I mean, is that better than the sun? No, not really. Alright. That eternal heart is real useful. That's another three spirit hearts if we can make it to the next floor, which... I mean, if I can make it to Mom's heart, with the exact amount of health I have right now, I would feel extremely good about that. I feel like that would be very, very much within the realm of possibility. And, well, unfortunately, it's not here. But this is an arcade, and we do have a ton of money. So if it's a fortune teller, or if I can roll it into a fortune teller, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Polaroid, okay. Just need to hope a tick doesn't spawn. Like I said, we're going to win every single spin here. We're going to get a spirit heart, or a trinket. Obviously, one spirit hearts. Trinkets, not super appealing. This is amazing. Oh, uh, very little reason not to go to the the Empress. Oh my God, the Empress. Oh, uh, not the Emperor. Emperor. The reason I was excited there is because I thought it was the Emperor, even though I said Empress. I knew it was Empress. Emperor teleports you to the boss room, which you know, obviously as you get later and later into the game, it's kind of awesome. So we're getting a silly amount of spirit hearts here. Another tarot card, death. Okay. We're gonna have to do some tarot card juggling here. I like the bloody penny. Could be useful if I had health, but I don't, so it's not. Alright, let's let's not ruin the run here. Starting to get kinda silly. Okay. Justice, I'll pop that. Okay. I kinda want the death card for now. 
Again, I realize these last couple minutes have not been the most action-packed gameplay, but hopefully you get my strategy here and why I'm trying to be super thorough about this, because we were we were on the verge of death there. Like, no doubt in my mind about that. Death card, thank you. I'm going to use that death card to deal with a challenging room on this floor if we find one, which we probably will. And I need to stop juggling stuff here while playing, because I could definitely end up picking the tick up by accident, and that would be bad. Alright, now we have Spirit Hearts off the screen, which is totally good. Okay. Okay, tick. We're done. We're done. We're not going to do that anymore, because I'm, I'm getting too fiddly. We have a lot of Spirit Hearts. Uh, we have the Death card. I want to try and grab the Sun card again. I know that's risky, but... If we could have the sun card for either the chest or the cathedral, that would be kind of amazing. So, you know. Wow. That was a good golden chest. Things are looking very up here. I, I cannot, uh, I cannot complain about how things have turned around. And again, as long as I have more than four keys. I'm going to keep opening these golden chests because there's no reason not to. No reason not to at all. I really, I mean, this is ridiculous. We got a good amount of keys now again. Goat hoof, speed up. I realize I didn't explain what all those trinkets did back there, but I was mostly just focused on spirit hearts, so. Um basic point is that in our situation the polar is better than basically any other trinket in the game so because of that beautiful permanent polar invincibility we are gonna go in here first because we can leave the mom's heart fight and come back so we're just gonna wait for a hard spawn probably knights or something maybe leeches yeah okay, leeches fine whatever so, we're doing a crazy amount of damage, as you can see. Fly saved my ass there. Oh, okay. That's not a huge deal, but do want to avoid damage like that when possible. It's certainly possible here. I should be using some bombs, to be honest, but not in the end of the world if I don't. I'm flying. I've got two sources of flying. They don't really stack, but yeah. I'm just going to throw it out there. I do have two sources. And that allows me to dodge the creep. Still have to dodge the actual explosion from the bombs, but uh, creeps no problem. So, gonna go pick up the sun card, and then we're gonna go to the cathedral. I really, I, I was thinking about going to Satan uh, a few minutes ago, but I feel like I would just be, I would just be cheating, guys, if I went there. So I'm gonna try and get the sun card here, which is really risky. It's not so bad now. It'd be pretty unlikely for me to pick up the tick. Let's just leave that room forever and let's move on. The video is getting a little bit lengthy, but. So, the question now is do I use the sun card on the cathedral or do I use it on the chest? The chest, generally a little bit harder, but you're oftentimes. You know, you oftentimes end up with some substantially better items, just because of the nature. And we do have Guppy's tail, so I mean, it's even even truer, I suppose. Now, is it worth it to go in here? Probably not, but it is half off. And we did get two pills. We had a pretty fly and an unknown pill, which gave us telepills, which ported us over here. So I guess we're going to go this way. Now, is it worth Spirit Heart to go pick up the Sun card? I would say yes, because it is kind of a world card. Tower just summons a bunch of bombs. That's super interesting. Okay. Like I said, we do a bunch of damage. Which is cool. Keep in that. What is this? Hermit. It's just a random teleport. Usually it takes you to the shop, but in our case, it would just take us to a random location. We're gonna go back up here. We're gonna keep going this way because there's no reason not to. We should check out the secret room. If it's something like Raw Liver or something, you know, that would be awesome. Now, I consider it unlikely that Isaac will kill us. I feel like we just have too much tankiness for that to happen. Unless we lose a ton of health before then. And taking damage on a room like this real bad, but, you know. 
Um, the question, perhaps now, is if we can survive the rooms leading up to Isaac and if we can survive the chest. If we'll have enough hearts to beat Blue Baby if we make it there. Again, I don't want to sound cocky, but it is unlikely that if we made it to Isaac in the exact same condition we're in right now that we would lose. It just, it seems almost impossible. Okay, I need death to die so I can kill these guys. Yeah, okay. So, boss man's not that way. Again, treasure map helping us out there, showing us dead ends. Green might be in here, but, you know, could be something awesome. Would not really be interested in a fetus item at this stage. Three cents? Who cares? No reason to pick it up, really. So, my intuition here, my, my logical side, I suppose, tells me that it's probably on the bottom left. That makes most sense. It seems like the most likely place to put a boss area. I realize, you know, it's pretty randomly generated, but at the same time, I feel like that is a good guess. Okay, wow. I'm just gonna keep amping this up. Okay, if there's four helmets on the next room, I'm, I'm getting pissed. Because I've never seen a four helmet room. <laughs> Alright. We are just gonna keep getting helmet rooms. Not a huge deal, because we can kill them real fast, and we can just bomb through the door. Again, I feel sort of confident in saying the boss is probably this way, so... Just based on the layout and everything. Uh, actually, more importantly than the layout of this area, uh, the layout of the other area convinces me that this is where the boss is going to be. And I was right, so. Um, I don't really, you know, deserve an award or anything. It's, it just seems kind of obvious to me. Spirit Heart, cool. Probably are going to take some damage on this heart, but Pretty Flies will be the uh, unsung hero here. They're going to block a ton of damage, as you can see. They haven't actually taken a point of damage yet, which is impressive. So we're a third of the way through the fight, and we haven't really dodged at all. Now we have Polar Invincibility. So, things are going uh, quite well. And it looks like we're going to get down to the chest with a reasonably large amount of health. Still have hearts off the screen. I would guess we're probably in the 13 to 15 hearts range, which is very sufficient to beat Blue Baby, but the chest can be hard. We do have the sun. And we don't need the full hill, so we can just use it as a world card, which we're totally going to do because we didn't get Cursed Blindness. And we can open all these. Please give me something awesome. Mom's Knife, PhD. PhD's pretty good. Mom's Knife is pretty good. I don't know, though. Would that, would that help us right now? Would it? Would it help us? I don't know. Now we know where the boss is. I don't... I don't know if Mom's Knife is good. Let's just pass it, because we had a good Mom's Knife run recently. Would have liked something. Some regeneration there. Well, okay. Well, the bloat's kind of an asshole, so. I do know exactly where to go. I was thinking about going to the right there before I popped the Sun Guard. So I'm glad we did pop the Sun Guard when we did. <laughs> okay. Item. Magnet. Sure. Not really a huge help. Now, well, taking a damage on a room like this is exactly it's gonna kill us if we're not careful. Please don't do it again. Thank you. I should have I should bomb through this, I think. Though greed may be there, so I don't know. Since we've already come like halfway, let's sort of open the air. Super wrath. Shouldn't be a huge issue. Sufficient speed. My eyebrows really itchy. Just real pain. Looking like I may be able to avoid taking damage on this room, which would be real good. Super Wrath only serious pain if you uh, have to dodge to a maze of rocks, which we thankfully do not have to. Looks like Mr. Mega. That looks like Dead Sea Scrolls. Dead Sea Scrolls. Random effect. Mom file feels in this case. And of course, another pretty fly because. This game would not be the same if we didn't just get pretty flies. I am going to kill Bloody Last on the off chance that we get the heart. The heart would be three more spirit hearts, which would be awesome. Of course, I did just take a little damage there, which is kind of bad. Okay, nope. But, you know, probably worth the risk. We should probably kill Blue Famine last, but that's apparently not going to happen. Kind of in an unideal position for me to do that, so I'm not going to bother. 
So Blue Baby is going to be perhaps a little bit random, but not necessarily out of the question. I would say we have a sufficient amount of health to do it, based on the Isaac fight, but, you know, anything could happen. If I can keep getting rooms like this, and even like the last room, it's probably going to be doable. But if I take a lot of damage between now and then, it may be, uh, may be impossible. This room will be a little bit harder. It shouldn't be... Well, it shouldn't be impossible. It is going to be harder, though, because, well, the flies aren't really going to do much. And the poop is going to get real annoying, because this poop does damage to you if you walk into it, and it regenerates. So that's pretty terrible. Yeah, one of them is almost dead, you can tell, because it started moving diagonally. Uh, I would bomb through these doors if I could, but you can't. You have to have Dad's key. Which I don't. It's pretty much the only time in the game where Dad's key is actually pretty useful. Gertie, should not be a big deal. If you take damage on here, I'm going to be kind of disappointed in myself. Alright, that's how you do it. Okay. In this room. This room is totally empty. Okay, blue baby. Let's go. Alright, first little bit of damage. No real point in trying to dodge at this point because it's just gonna get me hit in all likelihood. In the third phase, we should probably try and dodge a little bit. But uh, at this point, not really a purpose. Again, right now, probably not a terrible idea to try and dodge a little bit. Feeling good about this though. It'd be impressive if he managed to kill me. Alright. Just gotta kill four angel babies. Should be doable. Alright, guys. Uh, we did it. It was a close call at times, but we managed to pull it together. Sorry if it got a little bit boring there for a minute, but I, I had to pull out all the stops and be as safe as possible. But. Apparently that paid off, as we can all clearly see here. Uh, thank you for watching. Again, I apologize about my attitude in episode 10. That is not the kind of attitude I want to convey uh, going forward. Uh, it's also not the type of attitude I really conveyed previously. So it's just hopefully just a fluke and something I'm going to try and avoid in the future. Uh, again, thank you for watching and peace.